I have here a solution of methyl red. It's just an acid-base indicator that can show you whether the solution is acidic or basic by changing color. So right now it's a basic solution, and you can tell that because it's yellow. And if I get a little bit of hydrochloric acid, then when I add it to the solution, I can turn it red, which is why this stuff is called methyl red. Okay, so that's methyl red. It changes from yellow to red when it goes from basic to acidic solution. Now, I showed you that to show you this, because what I have here is an apparatus which is designed for me to um, react copper metal with concentrated nitric acid, which follows this chemical reaction right here. And it produces copper nitrate, which stays in solution, and makes it sort of a greenish blue color. Nitrogen dioxide, which is a noxious, toxic gas that's red in color. You'll see that in the test tube, because I'm going to generate it in a test tube very safely. It's going to go right down the drain. And it also makes some water. We won't really necessarily see that at all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some nitric acid to this test tube, which I wanted it to be relatively dry, so that would do. And using this dropper. Now nitric acid is a really, really, really nasty material, and you shouldn't uh, use this unless you have been trained to do so. You'll notice that I'm wearing goggles, I'm wearing gloves, I'm wearing a lab coat. I'm doing everything possible to remain safe in the use of this material. All right, that should be plenty. Let's go ahead and put the lid on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wedge the little bit of copper right here. Doesn't feel wedged enough. Let's make sure it's big enough to wedge. There we go. And I'm going to attach this to my apparatus. So, okay, and now I have a glass rod with which I can push the copper down into the nitric acid. But before I do, I'm going to turn on the aspirator, which draws air through this tube here into the faucet. And it draws it right through this liquid here. Now this has some methyl red in it, so if this becomes acidic, it will change red. It will change color to be red. So as I push this down in, that will cause there to be a vacuum which draws the gases produced right up into there. And there you have it, there's nitrogen dioxide. You can see the copper nitrate forming right there. And take a look, you can very easily see the change in color of the solution showing that the oxide of a non-metal is acidic. There, any questions? <laughs> We're all no? amazed. See, it's a beautiful blue color there, down there.